Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universals 4, The Art of Sweden. Yeah! Before we go, um, or before we start, hey, maybe I should build a march, because it's such a good building. The question being, where do we build it? So the march is a unique building, it does cost a fair amount of money, it's well, actually only 500 gold, which isn't necessarily that much in terms of unique buildings and 10 uh, military manpower, or military points, for a big manpower increase somewhere. Also attrition for enemies, which is kind of cool, and a bonus to local defensiveness. So you have to build it somewhere that borders another nation. So A, you want to build it somewhere that hopefully other nations will stick around for a while. Now. There's something to be said about increasing the attrition and the local defensiveness, say, here. Um, the problem is, these guys still have relatively high autonomy right now. And there's also a cultural difference and very expensive to convert them. Plus, if you lose your merch, you're going to have a really, really bad time. So what I'm thinking of, and if we take a look, uh, where's that building node? We take a look, we can see we actually would get something like 600 extra manpower here, or here, or here, any of these places. And that's because, um, presumably, they're culturally okay. Oh, apparently they're Russian culture, and we accept that. And I don't think that's ever going to not be the case, because we're actually just going to take more and more Russian bits. So, that's probably okay. It's also on the border of Lithuania, who's our good buddy, and we have no real ambition to take any of Lithuania's land. Now, we might start to get a little bit of friction once, um... If they decide that they want some of this land over here, for example, that's entirely possible. But I think we're generally going to be okay. And I suspect that Colm will continue to border um, foreign territory, Lithuania in this case, for quite a long time. So I think it would be a swell place to build a march, and it's definitely something you want to get going as soon as possible. Uh, we do need some more manpower. I would definitely be quite keen on getting quantity ideas sooner rather than later. We're currently still ahead on military tech, so I think it's probably reasonable for us that when we do get to our next administrative idea to grab those quantity things. Um, on the other hand, I would also like trade, because while I said I'm not going to become a massive trade power, uh, only having two merchants kind of sucks, so we're going to have to see exactly how well we can do with just that, but we'll do what we can. Meanwhile, let's go and kill off these rebels, I think. We do have some armies that are marching. Are they marching in a relevant place? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause, let the game go. Russia's no longer considered the Ottomans as a rival. Uh, Timurids, Timurids, yada, yada, yada. Who do we have? We've got, we've got four enemies. Portugal is our enemy that we don't rival back, which is okay. Military coalitions, that's all going to be fine. Right now, because I have no manpower, I'm not intending to declare any wars. We'll see exactly how that goes. We are losing a little bit of cash because I think we're on full army maintenance. And wow, we were losing cash, now we're gaining it all of a sudden. Why didn't they not match up? Just a slight delay in updating one versus the other? I guess that's fine. And yeah, reinforcement costs. Army has arrived. CB against Netherlands. Yada, yada, yada. Ooh, those nationalists might be very handy. Um, conversions. Now, we are very close to having enough relationship with England to um, to annex them. Once this gets to 165, which will happen because we're still improving relations, and the aggressive expansion and annex vessel is slowly going away, we'll be able to send them a gift and start annexing. And, and that will be very important because as soon as we control the London trade node, things are going to be much, much better. Well, that um, siege is almost going to finish. Of course everyone walks exactly together because I'm good about um, ordering my people around and therefore getting maximum attrition. Super good at that game. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we're just gonna move one of these guys. Uh, yeah, the 25k. They go and stomp that. Try to cut back on the attrition. Otherwise, we'll probably leave those guys there. Do we have a truce going on with Russia? I don't know what screen is easier to see here. Um, we do. For seven more years. Okay, that's good. Sorry, it's been a couple of days since the last episode, so I'm having to remind myself of a few things. Um, we'll go ahead and move you inland in preparation of the fact that we are going to decrease our maintenance very, very soon. Save a few more bucks. Still says we're losing, and it still says we're gaining. What? Why is there a mismatch? Well, let's see. 596, or 396. Are we going to go up or down? I think we're going to go up. I think this one is the accurate one. Yeah, so we're going up. This display is wrong. I don't know what it's miscalculating here. The army maintenance is right. Fleet maintenance is right. Visor maintenance is right. Is it not taking in one of our incomes? Taxation, 30. Production, 35. Trade, 33. Gold is nothing. Terrace, 3.7. Vassals, 465. 
Oh, the war reparations aren't right. Here it says our war reparations are 14, whereas our actual war reparations are about 40. Wow, we're getting 32 gold per month from Austria. God damn, that was a good peace deal. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Is this our army that's just sitting around doing nothing? Excellent. Let's go ahead and move you back over here. What about these little guys? Those are the overseas. Um, What is this? Oh, that's more of Canada. Canada is growing like a weed. Is it worth... Well, I don't really want to go to any significant wars. Oh, we don't have a CB against these guys, really? I wonder if I should just bring these dudes home. A Chickasaw or anything like that. We too have show superiority over there. We are adjacent via New Scotland. Presumably we can actually go over there. Yeah, we can walk through there just fine. Um, we could probably go and start that. I mean, basically we're just encouraging New Scotland to do some proper wars over here. Bring in Powhatan. Where are, where's, oh, that's these guys. Do they have any further allies? No, just the Chickasaw. So, hang on a sec. Stay over there. We're going to... I think this will be fine. We're going to declare war on Powhatan. Powhatan? Or declare war on Chickasaw. Co-belligerize Powhatan. That way we can move in with everyone. There we are. We should have a pretty big tech advantage over here. Tech 13. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We've got a leader. How come I can't move into this territory? Did they not actually join in? I named you as a co-belligerent and you just refused to go in. Well, I guess that was pretty smart, actually. So, we'll just move in with New Scotland. Okay, England. Um, oh, we actually hit plus 200. Oh, shit, but we're in a war. I forgot about that. Uh, recall the diplomat. I forgot. Uh, at least this will, should be a short war, hopefully. Oh, you did join in. You were just late. All right. Well, we should be able to flatten you. Seed your land. Let's win this war quickly. Um, You are just going to siege that? Good, yes. Excellent. You're home. You're home. We're not going to decrease our maintenance or anything like that at this point. We have some ships just sitting around. What are these guys? Some heavies. Got some more lights. Do we have ships being built? Oh, we do. I guess I'm going to wait before I reorganize everything. I'll probably forget about them forever, because that's the way it goes. Battle over there. Go and sit in their territory. This will be an easy war. An easy war to expand New Scotland. As long as we can stay good buddy buddies, I'll be pretty happy with that. Also, it gives me more adjacency to Canada. And there's definitely going to be another war with Canada. They're big. Like, I, I knocked them down small enough last time where I'd be able to vassalize them. But they've just grown too much by going down here that it's not going to be a case. They are an overseas power. They're not a colony. So all this stuff, they should have... Yeah, they have 0% autonomy in all these regions. So they can grow to become extraordinarily powerful over here. And they have good tech. They're actually going to be a threat overseas. We'll have to see exactly how we do. Uh, you're parked in Bornholm. Let's go and group you up. Looted goes away. Um, Silesia. Yeah, that's right. We can potentially vassalize you as well. Uh, we're going to maintain a diplomat over there for now. Because I think that's what the idea was, to try to diplo-vassalize Silesia. Uh, quite the battles going on over there. Possible I shouldn't have declared this war at all um, in the interest of Finishing my annexations, and specifically diplo-vassalizing, is very, very good, and it's important to, you know, hit that at the right time. Otherwise, you lose your opportunity entirely. I mean, we can we can annex England whenever we want, but diplo-vassalizing, that's a little dicier. Let me move out of here. I wonder if um, these troops will stay in siege. Although, if I'm the siege leader, it actually wouldn't be a bad idea for me to grab that. Uh, we need to remarry France. Oh, thank you very much for the offer, France. I'm very happy to do that. Got some rebel uprising, potentially. More coalitions. Listen, it's fine. Although I don't have any manpower. That is important to note. And the reason is we're still reinforcing. Oh, we've actually got attrition going on here. Hold on. Um, hey, what? Let me split you in half and then grab one of you and actually send you way over here. Uh, no. Don't want you to use sea base travel. There we go. Just shift click along the way. Down in the attrition, I'll split you in half too and actually send some extra dudes, maybe in Stockholm, just to wait over there for now. Because, um, yeah, we might get declared on um, over in, like, from the Germans or something like that. Although France will probably defend us if that's the case. 
Merge you guys up. How's the sieging going on over here? Excellent. Good. We can separate peace out, Pohatan. Yeah. We'll just do a full annex over there. A little bit of overextension. Oh, speaking of, we can start coring Hinterpon. Their, ex their extra coring costs. Stockholm. Yeah, finish that siege, then we'll move in over there and help finish off Chickasaw. Oh, England's over here helping out. We won the siege. Excellent. We'll move you over here. Meanwhile, let's um, super peace. We'll annex you. Really? Oh, 99. Yeah, because of everything else. Uh, no, no to peace offers quite yet. We converted Essex. We'll just keep going with the conversions. A Teutonic Order, we'll recall the Diplomat from there. Yeah, see, we can do a lot of annexing. Yeah, if we can somehow... Where's Silesia? Over here. I will... We're very close. I haven't sent you a gift yet. Am I actually running a deficit, or are you just telling me I'm running a deficit? Oh, I'm technically running a deficit. Can I subsidize you? Yeah, if I'm willing. And I have loans. Repair loans. There we go. So just to make sure that things are going to be okay, I will go ahead and give you some subsidies. A couple of gold. That'll build up over time. Just to make sure it stays high enough when this piece goes out, and then I can give you a gift, and we are going to try real hard to blow vassalize you. Open to God, I haven't messed anything up over there. Probably could have done it without subsidies, but I want to try to stack the, de the deck as much as possible. Let's go up to speed four. Let this finish. We are, I think, legitimately losing a little bit of money now. I also ask them to transfer trade power, which would actually make them like me a little bit more. Ask for as much as possible. I think that will also go up over time. Or oh, just flat, flat plus 12. Then that. Okay, just have to wait for this war to end. These sieges are going surprisingly slow, I feel. Given the fact that these are fort level 1. I don't know what's going on there. Got a lot of free diplomats. Uh, let's go and... Just in case, I'm going to keep one in England. That's going to be a top priority to vassalize. I suppose the Teutons as well, but let's wait. No, go away. No, go away. We're at 77, so we must have won another siege. Indeed, we did. Maintain diplomat. We can get another idea. Uh, I'm going to save my diplomatic ideas to negotiate this. Although that is very, very tempting. We'll just try to expand here. Um, gain Inquisitor, 10 influence. We lose the natural scientist. Poison the bishop's lunch. Lose influence. Gain power. I like power. Come on, win the siege. Come on, you Scotland. Why don't you go and uh, reinforce over here with cannons just to get a better siege tick. It's about to tick. It's about to tick. It's about to tick. Drama, drama, drama. Nope. Defender's desert. But that is not a successful thing. If I tell you to attach this army, will you? Ah, oh, you will, actually. Could have done that first. More conversions. Come on. Get there first. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Did you not bring any cannons? Defenders desert. Arg! Alright, speed five. That would be crazy. Actually, it's possible um, that I could separate piece out now these guys. They might be willing to do it. No. Not yet. Uh, New Scotland. I need to make sure you stay friendly. What's your current status? Oh, you're fine. I can tax it. That's okay. Come on. Finish the siege. Son of a bitch. I'm really worried I'm going to lose my chance to take Silesia here. And that. You know what? Let me um, recall the English guy for a sec here. So I have an extra diplomat. What I'm going to do with Silesia right now, 
is I'm going to go ahead and send them a gift. To get the full, well, almost full bonus. That way, because I'm going to have to wait for my diplomat to be able to come home, right? Should be okay. Come on, tick. Thank you very much. Okay, you, since we now have 100% war score, have no choice but to allow it to be fully annexed. And we'll fully annex you as well. Dangerous thing. 84%. Really? Uh, oh, that'll be only another 12, so that'll bring me up to 96. I mean, it's not great, but it's manageable. Okay. We're now at peace. Burn the heretics. I don't think so. For that. Are you too far away? You are. Can I give... You, Scotland, can I sell you a province? Although, technically, I can core this myself. Take as much money as I can from these guys. Oh! Can buy provinces in their own... Oh, so they can't build... Buy it. Okay. So, I have to core Chickasaw first. Luckily, I can core Chickasaw. And then I'll be able to core Tennessee. Alright, fair enough. We'll move you to there. Now that I'm at peace... Silesia, with your high relationship, we gotta wait until the 24th. Oh, that is a long time. But, I suppose England at this point, we can go ahead and... We lost influence again. Oh, we gained the bonus because we were in a war together. That's what was going on. Okay, but that's okay, I can send you a gift. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, I'm gonna overkill it just a little bit to make sure we don't get any decay that screws me up here. Oh, and we're not currently... Improve relations, so it'll actually drop relatively quickly. The 5th of January, so we'll be doing this one first. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't fail me now. The 24th, it'll be my Christmas Eve gift. Offer vassalization. Bam. Nice. What does that do for my relations? I'm only 7 to 6, which isn't bad. Cancels the trade transferring, which is fine. And on the 5th, we are going to start annexing England. Oh, our relations actually went up. I guess because we're burning off the aggressive expansion. Annex England. Blam. Now, um, how long will this take? This will be 1643. If I were to check the Teutonic Order over here, will it tell me how long it might take? Okay, it'll take longer. That's good, because I want to prioritize actually annexing England. That's the one that's most important. But I should have enough overkill Diplo rep. Once the overextension goes away, even when I get the plus three from annexing England, it should keep going with the Teutonic Order. If anything else, though, it still means I can make some progress towards the Teutonic Order, even if it stalls out for a little while. Worst case scenario is we simply don't have a, um, a diplomat available, but it doesn't actually cost me anything else. Um, military tech... I will probably wait. We're not capped. If I wait until the next January, it'll go down by another percent, which is nice. So we're going to hold off for now. The question is, do I invest in the Diplo points? Well, right now, what's my um, annexing cost? It'll cost me four and three, so seven points per month. We're making eight. I'm not going to go and uh, get the last diplomatic idea quite yet. Um, yeah, I'm not in a rush to lower the diplomatic cost, and this way it'll save me some points for the, uh, the annexation, make sure I've got a little bit left in the pool. Overall feeling okay, still again, no desire to launch into a war quite yet. We can go though, and um, drop my army maintenance, like so. We're still subsidizing Silesia, but that's not necessarily terrible. They are my vassal now, um, and that will just give them some extra money to become a little buffer, and at some point we will certainly annex them. Always nice to get a Diplo annexation, super duper handy. Uh, to swing that, because you don't get any overextension or anything. Very tempting to uh, grab that stuff, but we're not going to right now. We've got a few Patriots. Oslon ones, where's that? So 4.5 years, 18.1 years. Neither one of which is a problem. We do need a new advisor. I could drop the National Unrest, which I think is good. Our uh, Prestige is okay. Ooh, we've got the Power Projection. Yeah, let's grab the uh, Lowered National Unrest, just because it's kind of handy. We're just above our limit by one. We're above our limit on leaders by two. Why don't I fire this guy? Seems like a swell idea. I think that's fine. Save ourselves an extra military point. 
And we're still losing one from being over. Oh, what's this? A new decision. Uh, introduce church taxes. So it'll increase national unrest by one, but gives 8% more national tax. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Still not in any hurry to form the Scandinavian nation. We may or we may not. Call to arms. Lithuania wants to reconquer Ingle against the Ottomans. Dude. Seriously? Seriously? Okay, the Ottomans are also in a war against Austria. And they're losing there. Okay, well, I'll accept. So, what are we lo actually looking like? Well, I could go and conquer some stuff over in the uh, the east, I suppose. Try to avoid any real direct conflict with um, with the Ottomans. I don't know. I mean, the Ottomans are a threat. I mean, they're a threat to good Christian values and all that sort of stuff. So, it you know, it's sort of a legitimate war. Especially if we're role-playing. If we're role-playing, then it's like, hell yes. Lithuania's been my buddy. I mean, this war's not really going to help me, probably. It might. I mean, if we weaken the Ottomans, that, that helps me in a certain extent. Um, if we strengthen Lithuania, I don't know, it's kind of 50-50. I could take some more land over here, potentially. I don't have any claims on anything, though. Of course, we're getting a little attrition as well. We need diplomatic relations, annexing and all that. I mean, I don't want to be manpower. So it'll be pretty important not to cost myself too, too much over here. You know what? Let's actually focus on the actual Ottoman land. Um, there's no way. I don't even have a claim or anything. Like, it's possible if I go and um, occupy some of this territory that Lithuania might give me something. But it's not like likely. Okay, that's the war goal. Maybe, you know what I'll do? I'm just going to hang out in Lithuania. That way, if they get attacked, I can defend them. Yeah, alright, I think that's reasonable. Let them siege. Let them take the, um, um, the attrition. I wonder if this uh, Kiev over here could potentially be soaked up. They are pretty friendly. We have royal ties. We improve relations at all? No. Oh, they're already my vassal. What? When did that happen? <laughs> I can't keep track of my own shit. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. It might be worthwhile doing this. You're actually... Finland is actually relatively big. Although, you know what I've got to spend my admin points on? Boring stuff. Alright, conversions. Convert some more. Oh, 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 they're fighting over here. God damn. Things are large. But yeah, I think I like this idea. Just I ideally let my own manpower recover, but still provide a little bit of support for... Um, or Lithuania. Yeah, they still don't agree about my income. War reparations calculation. Something is off in this pop-up. Oh, my king died! Okay. We've got a 304 leader. That's not great. Actually, the lack of diplo points might be vaguely annoying here as I annex everything. We're still going to be okay. We're not going to go negative, but we're not going to gain. Our heirs are 350. Again, not fantastic. And I really don't like not getting the military points, especially if I'm going to get a military idea group. Uh, but his net power is slightly higher. It's 8 as opposed to 7. I'm going to say anything above 6 is not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. So I'm not going to complain about it. Not a, they're not horrific leaders. They're not great leaders, but they're not horrific. So what can you say? Ideally, I would probably prefer a more even point distribution, generally speaking, although we're doing okay right now. The next guy's kind of going to be annoying. Uh, we got a little bit of war exhaustion. It's not going up right now. Mm, I'm not going to spend any. Oh, right, our stability drop. Uh, we're pretty overextended, which means this is relatively expensive right now. I mean, it's under 100, which isn't bad, but I'm still going to go ahead and wait. Hopefully, we're okay. We do have 
Um, we do have the, uh, what's this guy called? Theologian, which is helping keep things reasonable. So we're going to be okay. And yeah, right now our manpower should more or less be on the increase. If I did have more money, I'd probably go and build more barrack type stuff. Uh, we are annexing these guys, which is going to be lovely. Uh, oh, you're going to get some heresy. Ooh, heresy. We're still on schedule here, 1643. 1650. And if we do um, finish um, coring everything... Really? We're getting, oh, we got two armies there. That's not what we're looking for. Move one back. Uh, if we do finish coring everything, then we will have a higher diplomatic reputation, which means things um, uh, might annex faster. Well, I think this is going to be a swell time to put in a cut. We are in a big war against the Ottomans, but the Ottomans have rebellions everywhere. I suspect this war is definitely going to end in our favor. The only reason we have a negative war score right now is because the war goal... Yeah, that's not true. Did lose some battles, probably mostly down here. Um, the war goal is still under control of the Ottomans, but I don't see any way for them to push in over here, and really, other than threatening some very minuscule powers over here, I think we're going to be okay. And yeah, I'm I'm very happy to just recharging my manpower pool. Uh, other than separate piecing out for some Golden Horde territory, we're not really going to gain much, and run, really, honestly, right now, we're so overextended and different things like that. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.